welcome everyone. Sorry, uh, my name's William from Scenic and Emerald Cruises. Um, today I'm going to do more of a destination thing for you because we've already done uh, the ship tour. So I'm going to start with Scenic, uh, just to give a little bit of an overview for you. Uh, it's also good to know as well, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but we are an Australian-based company uh, out of Newcastle, north of Sydney. Been around for 36 years, privately family-owned by Glenn and Karen Maroney. So it's always good to know who you're traveling with. Won lots of rewards, uh, rewards, awards, sorry. Um, so very proud of that. And river cruising I'll talk about initially. And uh, this is the Moselle River, and it's all about it's all about seeing things on a river cruise. So we've done the ship tour already. You get to see all these beautiful places and so close. Great for photography. Great to have a glass of wine up on the deck and just watch the world go by. So it's all inclusive. Remember, door to door transfers, air, airport to the, or home to airports, all included. Butler service, all your dining and beverages, all your tours are included as well. Everything uh, except for the massage or the in the spa treatments, they are they are chargeable. So the rivers that we do, and um, we do the Douro, bottom left there, beautiful, one of the one of the most majestic rivers I've ever seen. We do the Bordeaux region, and we also do the south of France. A great one that we do is Paris up to the Normandy beaches on the Seine. Uh, the beauty of that one is the ship, the scenic gem, has been designed to go by Rouen. Not many ships can do that. And that means you're not stuck in a coach for ages to get out to the Normandy beaches in that area. So really, really uh, beneficial that the ship can do that, go all the way to the town of Honfleur. We also do the Rhine and the Danube, as you can see. And we do Russia as well, which I'll mention shortly. Just a couple of the really uh, popular ones. Gems of the Danube is extremely popular. Fly into Munich, then you'll cruise from Nuremberg down to Budapest, seeing beautiful places like Vienna, etc. And then you can do a longer one, uh, 14 nights from Amsterdam to Budapest, which is extremely popular as well. Du the Douro has two itineraries. They have a seven night. So the Douro, you go to the Spanish border and then you go back to Porto. But the sun, the scenery is so stunning. It's just beautiful. And then you've got a longer version, the 10 night, which covers more areas and more towns uh, for people to visit. So absolutely gorgeous. Two new itineraries for next year, folks. Tastes of Southern France. So that's in the south of France, out of Lyon. All about the wine and the food down there. So these are culinary cruises and also flavours of Bordeaux. So if you need anything like that sent to you, please let us know and we can send out um, social posts, etc. So this is one of our beautiful spaceships. It's predominantly balcony, as I mentioned on the, on the ship tour. And uh, this is the beautiful town of Dunstein. This is one of the places on the Danube that you would visit. It's a gorgeous town. And that's where Richard the Lionheart was imprisoned after the Crusades in that castle up on the hill there. So we have a very important device, the scenic GPS device. And it's also an app now. So this will be sent to your, cust your clients. And then they download the app and it's a tour guide. And you sit with earphones and you can listen to commentary. So it's, this is unique to Scenic. No one else has this. It's a great thing. If you get lost, it knows where the ship's docked as well. And we have 30 bikes electric on every ship except for the Douro or Russia. And these are great as well. So if your clients want to take the bikes out, ask them to get in quickly because there's only 30 on board. Remember, the ships uh, take about 159 passengers. That's average. Uh, all your tours are included as well. So there's three three stages. They've got a, an easy, a moderate, and a fast-paced tour. And then all your, um, this is just some of the options. My two is Palace is included for you. Truffle tasting in France. Shop with a chef. This is really beautiful as well. So lots of different things. Scenic and Rich is also included. This is where we have special events with Scenic. This is really unique to us once again. This is a, in, in Vienna in a palace called Pali Liechtenstein, and we go there of an evening. And then we have some new ones for next year. So we have a beautiful one in the Bordeaux region, which is an old submarine base, which has been turned into a bit of an art gallery. People really enjoying this. Uh, and then we have Motor World as well in Cologne in Germany. All, learn all about F1 legend Michael Schumacher and all the history of the, of the Grand Prix. There's some great deals out just now as well. The, the Black Friday deals have been extended to the 17th of December. You've got the windmills, tulips, and Belgian delights. And then you've got the gems of the Danube as well. There are the prices there for you. 
So remember that door to door also. And then we do Russia. So to quickly mention, we have Moscow to St. Petersburg. I've done Russia twice now with Scenic on the Scenic Czar. Fantastic destination to visit. Great cruise, really enjoyable, really interesting countryside, people, etc. And then we also have Moscow to Stalingrad. So if people are looking for something different, Russia is a great destination to visit. Scenic Eclipse, let's talk a little bit about that. So this is our wonderful Discovery yacht, 228 passengers, all balcony, helicopters, submarine. You can visit the bridge as well, and it feels like you're on yacht. So this, well, there's a green light outside the door. You can go in and talk to the captain and the crew and learn all about how Scenic Eclipse actually works. It's uh, People just really like that. That's very, very popular. Once again, with Scenic Eclipse, all inclusive, except for the helicopter or the submarine, they are chargeable. Prices starting from four, five hundred US dollars per person upwards for the submarine or for the, the helicopter. Uh, door to door once again, so fully inclusive. Spa treatments are extra also. New for the Scenic Eclipse, you might have seen this on the ship tour the other day, but we have the Panorama Bar. I was there on the Red Sea about a month ago. Wonderful place to sit and relax. New cabanas as well on deck 10. And then the yacht club has been changed around as well. This is a nice place for, for breakfast and for lunch. And that roof actually opens up as well. So you have that discovery options for people. Helicopters, there's two of them on board. The discovery team will look after you all around all these destinations, all like David Attenborough, Zodiacs and Scenic Neptune, the six seat submarine. That's me landing on the ship. Just to show off, sorry. A wonderful experience, really, it really is. I'll flick on from that. So when you get your discovery center, we provide jackets as well. So people at the extend their measurements, they get to keep the jacket at the end of the cruise when they're doing a discovery uh, cruise or destination. Binoc binoculars, books are provided also. We have sea bobs now as well. I use these in the Red Sea. These are little things you hang on to with a snorkel mask and then you can float about a bit like James Bond. And then we could go to Antarctica. So this is a bucket list for many people. So De Antarctica, big destination. You'll fly into Buenos Aires, stay the night, and then you'll go down to Ushuaia and do the cruise down there into the Antarctic Peninsula. This is the Weddell Sea where the ship's docked here, and people are just walking off and meeting all the lovely penguins. Uh, Zodiacs to, to take people around as well. There's loads of them on the ship. We also have um, jet skis now as well. So easy to get off and on the ship as well, even if people have some mobility issues. So it's always good if clients are not great with mobility. It's quite easy to get on and off the ship. Very not that difficult, not lots of stairs. Kayaking as well for people. Uh, it's great to do all that. So this is a great destination, Northwest, Northeast Passage, Northwest Passage. Uh, so remember that uh, we have South America, Antarctica, we do the Mediterranean and also into the fjords as well. Some great, I just picked out some. Lisbon to Barcelona, 12 day itinerary there for, for people. A lovely one from Rome to Venice as well. So it's not all about Antarctica. Remember we do warm water cruising as well. We have the kayaks, we have Tiwao sailing boats now as well. Water skiing is going to be introduced and paddle boarding also. Arctic fjords in the Baltics, so another great area. Imagine flying in the helicopter through the fjords, fantastic. Polar bear expedition as well up in the Greenland area. And then we have North, Central and South America also. So lots of destinations. There's the inside passage. So something, uh, if clients are looking for something different, then that's a good one. Then we have a lovely one from Vancouver, down the coast of California, it says San Francisco, San Diego. And then you have another one from Lima down to Valparaiso. So doing a bit of Chile and Peru. And then we have San Diego down to Costa Rica as well. So lots of different itineraries. We do we do extensions in South America. This is Patagonia. We stay three nights in this wonderful Explorer Hotel. I was lucky enough to stay here. It's a great destination. We do a three-night extension to Iguazu Falls as well, staying at the Belmont des Cataratas. And for 2023, we're bringing out Siberian, Siberia and the Russian Arctic. So people are looking for something different. Once again, Anchorage to Tromso. Japan, we have two new itineraries coming as well. Very, very popular destination. We go into South Korea also. 
There you are, Osaka to Sapporo, 15 days. There's Mount Fuji there. And then some great itineraries. So we get Antarctica in depth for starting from 10, 7, 8, 5 per person. So we start sailing in January 2022. Very excited. And you can also do the U European region, Morocco and the Iberian Peninsula as well. So just a little bit of coverage on Emerald for you before we finish up. We started sailing um, in a couple of months ago. We don't sail now, uh, but things went really well. No issues with the COVID, no, no cases reported. All the health and safety is really important to, to like everyone now. So all about the crew are all trained up, the way the air's ventilation and everything and on all the vessels that we have. Uh, and great, great pool area on Emerald Cruises on the Rhine and the Danube in the south of France as well. So they have that little pool area at the back. You've got your flights included as well, remember. We have lots of excursions um, and we have a lot of fitness stuff as well. People are starting to ask for like yoga, uh, Pilates, that type of thing as well. And remember, all gratuities included on the ship and off the ship also. Lots of ships with Emerald now started in 2014. And we also have um, the, the Mekong River covered with Emerald Harmony. Sorry, I'm going really fast here. Brand new ship for next year, Emerald Luna. So we're really excited to have a new ship in the Emerald Fleet. And that will be sailing on the Rhine and the Danube Rivers. So if you're looking for something brand new, that is the Emerald Luna. And then this is the river. So we do the Douro, um, bottom left there. We do the south of France and we do the Rhine and the Danube. And this is just some of the other really, um, really uh, popular cruises that we have. Passau to Budapest, Danube Explorer, uh, Mainz to Basel. Great for Christmas markets. Remember some of these as well, the Douro and the south of France. And then we do extensions. So you can stay in maybe Prague for three nights before the cruise or after. You can do Budapest. You can do Madrid now as well. Lots of different city stays that we offer. And some great epic voyages. So you can do Amsterdam all the way to the Black Sea. A lot of people are going for the longer ones now. Everyone's been locked down for so long. They're thinking, let's do something really long. And, and we've got the time now. You can do the Douro and the South of France together as well. So they're called epic voyages. And brand new for next year, we have the Rhine Spa Arts and Culture Cruise. So something nice. Wines of the Moselle. How nice is that if you like a wee wine? and the Danube Spa Arts and Culture Cruise. So some new ones coming. There's some of the water aerobics and everything that we do. So we have activity managers also. And there's Budapest. So we have the docking rights as well on the Danube across from Parliament and Budapest. And that's your view at night from the bar. How good is that? And just a couple of deals there. And we Christmas time on the Rhine, $9.95 uh, per person. What a deal that is. If you pay 10, sorry, 12 months in advance, you save an extra 10% on that also. Very quickly to finish off, we have two new ships coming with Emerald Yachts. We have Emerald Azura starting in January next year. And then we have Emerald Zakara starting in uh, 2023. So it's all about this 100 passengers on board, all about getting into the ports, close to everything as well. There she is. She looks lovely. I can't wait to see her. I've seen some sea trials and she looks great. Pool bar, air, pool area, uh, marina platform. No helicopters or submarines, so it's just a little bit. looks like a baby scene, like Eclipse, actually, and gets into some unique areas. And the first cruise for Emerald Zakara will be the Seychelles in 2023, so look out for that one as well. And we do the Med, and we do the Red Sea, and we're doing the Black Sea also in 2023. There's a couple of itineraries just to show you. Eight-day Mediterranean enchantment and the Croatia in depth. Just a couple of those wonderful itineraries that we offer. Also the Red Sea, Saudi Arabia as well. Uh, great. I just I was there uh, about a month ago, as mentioned. Uh, we get to see some wonderful things. This is the Alura Alula. This is one of the destinations that we visit in the middle of the desert. What a place that was. Uh, and then a lot of people are doing longer cruises, as I mentioned. You can do the 15-day Discover Croatia and Italy. You can do Discover the Eastern Mediterranean. That's a 15-day. So there's longer cruises available for your clients. And as I mentioned, Black Sea starting in 2023. 
So there you go. It's just a little bit there for you, just to give you a bit of a destination overview of what we do. Uh, remember, it's beer, wine, and drinks, uh, beer, wine, and soft drinks with your meals, uh, lunch, and dinner on them. It's a little bit different from Scenic. You don't have the butler service, but you still have a wonderful cruise with us. And we have some great travel showcases. So if you want to go onto the agent portal, you can find videos and you can send these to your clients. We're very informative. And there's my email address if you need it there and the phone number. And we also have a Facebook page called Scenic and Emerald Cruises. Totally trade if you want to be kept up to date with what we offer. So there you go. Thank you. My goodness. as I, I don't know how long it took there. Wow, William, what a whistle-stop tour. Well, I do. Was... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. My God, um, sorry. Yeah, there you go. No, absolutely. Information packed. That's what we like to see. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Okay, we've had a couple of questions. Yeah. Um, one is from Charlotte. She's asking about training resources for Emerald in particular um, because she'd really like to push that to her customers. Yeah. It looks absolutely beautiful. Yeah, so if you go onto the Scenic website, um and then there's a place uh, there's a, up in the top right it says agent portal and that's the link to all the training modules and videos etc but if everyone emails i'll give you an email if they can jot it down agency sales at scenic.co.uk and that's they will that they will help you with all that information and set you up with passwords etc mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. A couple of people are asking um, if you can put the last slide up again with the web addresses and the contact details. Oh, yeah. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, God almighty. What is it? There it is. That one? That's the one. There we go. Thank you. Yeah. That's so nice. I've got other slides in there I'm hiding. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Uh -huh. uh, Chrissy has also asked about a phone number um and that she can call to book and ask questions will, will that be on the agent portal as well oh, yes it's, on there. Right there. it's just the reservations number if they want to call agency sales re regarding any queries about that it's um I can't remember the number now that's terrible zero one six size oh god almighty that's terrible <laughs> right. no i forget what the number is i'm, oh, I'm really ashamed because i never call it that's fine. It'll be on the it'll be on the website then. It's It'll on be the I, yes, that's terrible. Sorry, yeah. about that. <laughs> all right. Yeah. And um, she's also asked about agent rates. Um, what they agent are. Agent rates, do. yes. Uh, we're waiting for the budget for 2022, and then we do offer agent rates. It all depends what the budget is, but we do offer that. So please contact myself uh or agency sales, and we can see what we can do for you. And we can get you on farm trips. So we'll all just go together. <laughs> do you have any fam trips planned for 2022? Uh, I, I clear we do. Mm -hmm. uh, the, I, you have to have registered for clear, but there is a five night a Southern Danube, Lower Danube on Emerald Star, I think it is. Okay, yeah. great. And how, how do agents get involved with that? Would that be a case of contacting you? For, you know, for clear, they had to register. I think it's closed now. Okay. Uh, but some of them might have registered already. But just email me or agency sales and we can check any deals, etc. Fantastic. Thank you. Okay, we do have a couple more minutes. Oh, Lynn says she's registered for next year. Cool. Lovely. And the uh, I so if a uh, if Lynn she what they do in clear, I think they asked to go on to Emerald or Scenic. So I think that was a, a an option for them. Lovely. Yeah. Okay. Um one question I had is is what are, have been your best selling itineraries uh, for 2022? Have you seen any that have really kind of skyrocketed in terms of interest? Uh, the Duro. Duro. Mm -hmm. Duro is massive. Yeah. It's, um, I think, because I think because it wasn't good through so many countries, obviously with COVID, etc. So the Duro, and the, the Duro is probably the prettiest. It's gorgeous, stunning. It's like the Scottish mountains. It's beautiful. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, Dawn no, it's really nice. The Duro probably um, south of France, very popular as well, um, and also uh, obviously um, Antarctica starts in January, so that is a big bucket list, and that's on scenic eclipse. But the new yachts for Emerald uh, Mediterranean and that Seychelles one, mm -hmm. that's still available for sale. So please, if you want to do something different, um, that that is a good one to look at. Lovely. Uh, there we go. That's the bing. That's our cue to move on to the next session. 